Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting. So I just wanted to go over a little bit about mounting lights on the tree. So this is not a down light or a moon light. This is actually an up light mounted on the tree. So the reason why we did this is because this tree is in the grass and uh, in order for it to not get knocked over. So if we were to install it into the grass, because there's so many roots, you know, we might have to even put it way back here because there could be a root under here or over there. So this would be essentially in the way of lawn mowers trying to make sure that this yard is cut. If you know somebody's not gonna mow this area, the, gra the grass is actually gonna grow up and over the light. So just to make sure we avoid all of that, we put it here and mounted it on the tree. We did the same with the other side as well. Um, just to match, um, I'll go walk over there. But I installed this landscape lighting system about three years ago, and what ended up happening is the tree grew, as you can tell, and I had mounted this incorrectly, and so, as you can tell, it made an, an indent inside here. The mount was essentially stuck inside the tree, but the light didn't work, and it actually triggered the whole system to go off because this wire down here was pinched against the tree and this mount right here and it was pinched so hard that it was causing the wires to touch now that happens quite a bit so one thing that you need to be mindful about and think about is if you ever put a mount on a light and put that light on a tree make sure you have a bit of a gap and it makes it so the mount stays away from the tree you never want to put it right up against the tree because you won't let the tree grow and um, and not affect the light. So have a, a gap like this, separate it. Also, if you notice that even though you have a gap and the tree is growing a lot more than you initially thought, or maybe it's been a few years, just unscrew this and then mount it again a, about an inch away from the tree and you will be fine. So just maintain this. It's a very fun feature to have, whether you put a mounted light in the tree up high to shine down on the grass or on the flower bed, but if you have it on the tree, down at the base of the tree like I do in this system, then um, it just makes it easier so you can mow or weed whack or whatever you need to down here and not damage the light. Anyways, best of luck with your landscape lighting project and I will see you in the next video. Bye.